is in the studio. Coach Brandon is at home tonight. We'll be joined by Terry Nelson in about 10 minutes. Let's go to Elise, who's on the line for Coach Brandon this evening. Hello, Elise. Hey, Dan. Hey, Coach. How are you? Great, Elise. How are you tonight? I'm hanging in there, hanging in there. Um, good to be talking to you guys. I wish we were at Montgomery Inn, having ribs, sitting next to my dad who passed away in November. Um, I know he loved uh, getting to know you, Coach Brandon, and your family. So I know you went oh, through I'm that. I'm sorry to hear that, ago. Elise. Thank, thank you for sharing. I, I, uh, I'm sorry to hear about that. He was a very kind man and said uh, he, uh, really, really made my family feel very comfortable. Uh, uh, really, really good man. So I'm sorry to hear that. I'm so, Thank you. I appreciate that. He uh, had gotten an obviously love to see your relationship with your dad. So um, I felt very similar sitting with him and seeing how you two interacted. So I know you know what I'm going through as you lost your dad um, I, last year. I do. So I think and I can't wait out. to get back to those days when we have Montgomery and we, we, we spend some time there. It was, Dan, it really yeah. started to be a fun environment there. We started getting some fans over and a lot of families were joining us. So that will yeah. be one of the norms that I really can't wait to get back to. For sure, for sure. So question for you. Um, you know, there's a lot of, um, I would say, coaches that, you know, aren't being paid by Division One to have their opinion about, you know, players who maybe shouldn't be playing at UC or, you know, why aren't you playing them more or they think they should be in the league now. How do you and your coaching staff try and get all that noise out and just have them focused on their development and playing basketball? At least it's a, a very insightful question, and I uh, appreciate you asking it. It's, we use the term, don't allow outside voices to influence inside choices. So I, I, I joke around with the guys in that, what I say. You know, when I come home at night, if we lose the game, it, my wife never says, what about that substitution you made? Or what about that play? It's always, boy, I really wish Mason would make a foul shot. Or I really wish Chris would get a rebound. Or I really wish... You know, Keith Williams would uh, get another assist. It's it's, it's never because she loves me so much. It's the guy's fault, right? So I tell guys all the time: when you go home, when your, your parents love you so much that they're not going to blame they're not going to blame you. They're not, they're not going to say you got to get better at something. And then the other piece is, and Bill Polian would always say this: you know, if you if you if you care what everybody in the stands thinks and tries to please everybody, then you'll be sitting next to them. And uh, it's just we're in an environment where everybody's got an opinion. Everybody wants to be a coach. Uh, you know, I, for our young men, I hate it that they have to get on social media and be told how good or bad they are when we're, we're on the we're on the both ends. Of, we're really not that good. We're not that bad. You know what I mean? So they're, they're, the evaluations that the young men go through in the environment of social media is very uh, challenging for a coach and something that I, I, I don't know if I could handle when I was a student athlete. So bottom line, don't let outside voices influence inside choices. There's a level of sacrifice for all of us when we're trying to win a basketball championship. And I think you're starting to see uh, where a lot of teams are going in the other direction right now with the start that we have with the long breaks. I think you're seeing UC basketball going in a much more positive direction. Yeah, for sure. I'm, I'm proud to say you're our coach. Give your best to your, your mom, your family, the, the girls, and your um, wife. And I look forward to seeing you at Montgomery Inn um, in the next season, Coach. Thanks so much, Elise. Our thoughts Great to hear well. your voice, Elise. <laughs> Thanks, Howard. Thanks for calling in tonight. Of course. All right. That is our friend Elise.